Since last October, demonstrations and vigils in Canada have echoed the divisions in the Middle East. Now, reaction is also split to the International Court of Justice's ruling on Israel's conduct in Gaza. While we are disappointed in the fact that the ICJ didn't call for an immediate ceasefire, we really welcome the court's decision, uh, uh, the court's ruling insofar as it said that Israel is not doing enough to prevent a genocide uh, in Gaza. The Canadian government needs to uh, be outspoken in the fact that it has no concerns that the Israeli government uh, is committing genocide in its defensive action in uh, the Gaza Strip. What will Canada do to abide by the ICJ ruling for this? The Prime Minister let his MPs do the talking. They shared different perspectives. Today the court did not take a position on whether or not Israel is committing genocide. My position has been that Israel is not committing genocide, that it's baseless and it's insulting. I'm a bit disappointed that like they didn't ask for an immediate ceasefire. Canada is a signatory to ICJ. I think it's incumbent on Canada to convince Israel to make sure that they follow what has been said. The current ruling legally binds all ICJ signatories to help enforce it however they can. And some experts say Canada needs to be thinking about the future. The International Court of Justice may determine in a year or a couple from now that Israel has committed genocide in Gaza. And if it does so, that may quite clearly implicate Canada because Canada is selling military weapons and technology to the Israeli military. Global Affairs Canada has not answered questions about Canada's current military aid to Israel. It amounted to $21 million two years ago. In a statement on the ruling itself, the department reiterated its support for the court, though said that does not mean it accepts the premise of the case brought by South Africa. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.